Honey Renegade is by far my favorite Revenant build, because it's the most complicated, and no surprises on that one. But that aside, in my opinion, it really shows off some of the potential for some of the more interesting aspects of Revenant. Using legend swaps and weapons in tandem, while finding little synergies between the two. Enabled by not being stuck on Sword Sword and Shiro. God, Assassin's Stance needs a rework. Anyway, it's not really an easy build, and you'll see me play it pretty poorly in the footage, because it can be hard to keep track of all the moving parts and what's worth using when, especially in real fights when there's downtime in your rotation because of mechanics, and that messes with your energy levels, and it's a whole thing. <clears throat> but the simplified version of the playstyle boils down to combine Kala with Mace, because the Mace and Axe skills have lower energy costs, letting you use the F2 and the Spirits. You run down your energy until you can trigger Charged Mists, and then swap to Malix and to Shortbow, where you want to keep the Elite active. During that time, you use the Shortbow skills and Auto Attack plenty of times, because those autos are a really good way to ensure that the Elite pulses as often as possible. That's still kind of a lot to keep track of, and it's not incredibly intuitive, but thinking of the legends and the weapons as one unified combo can save you a lot of headaches while you're getting the hang of this. Your survivability is a bit eh. You have good base stats as a revenant, but this build doesn't really give you anything to enhance those, besides maybe the Kala Elite at a stretch. Your utility is similarly a bit meh. You've got good CC and a boon strip, and Malix does have a pull, but the range is really short. And you can kinda help out with boons, but without boon duration, you're not doing a ton. Connie Ren also really hates changing legends. It's usually worth more to just swap out to a power build entirely than to try and fit Jalus or Ventari into this for utility purposes. So yeah, if nothing else, I think this build is cool. It tends to be a lot more involved and active than other versions of Revenant, and provides you with the unique benefit of actually having a useful ranged weapon. But it's also harder to pick up and doesn't easily slot an extra utility as other Revenant builds might. So yeah.